Hi guys, this is Ancestral Owl Messages with Twin Flame Read for the Collective Sign of Virgo. Virgo is what is going on for February 16th to the 21st. Let's pray first and then we'll get into the details of the read. Okay. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages and information need to come through for the Collective Sign of Virgo for this their twin flame read for February 16th through the 21st. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, first thing I want to say is that two decks I'm using is Oracle and Tarot deck called Mystical Moments by... Hold on a second. By Katrine Weltstein. Now... The tarot deck for the masculine cards, there's no gender in tarot. We're to find the balance of masculine and feminine within ourselves. Masculine is giving, feminine is receiving. It's an ebb and flow that's to happen in each relationship, each connection. Okay, and to ourselves. So, that being said, the tarot deck for each masculine card, the kings, emperor, there's a feminine version of the card too. I've kept them in. You had the choice of removing them. I kept them in. It's the most unusual deck. Unusual tarot deck I've run across. In that vein. The reason I kept them in. Is because it's, it gives deeper profound meaning when they appear on the board. Now. The other thing too. Is that Twin Flame Reads. That I was doing, I would say person one, person two. This was confusing for some that was watching it because sometimes they were person one, sometimes they were person two. So I have changed this to mirror and reflection. In the twin flame connection, it is so closely, the energy is so closely connected. Sometimes you're in the mirror, sometimes you're in the flex, reflection. So now when you hear the read, if you resonate with any of it, if this resonates for you, at some point in the read, you may be mirror, you may be reflection, you may go back to be a mirror. It can switch. If it appears that it's going to switch, I will give you a heads up that it looks like this is the point where it could switch. So, I think I've said everything. Alright, so let's get two cards here. Four mirror, gloom, number five card. Five is number of change. That's a beautiful card. The oracle deck and the tarot deck both are very whimsical, beautiful. Four reflection, the gift, 23 card, two and three is five, also number of change. There is change in the wind in this connection. What is going on, Virgo? Let me read it from the book because I won't, wouldn't be able to do it justice. Either card. Okay. Bloom. Self-confidence, femininity, individual fulfillment. A woman gazes into her eyes, into your eyes with pride and self-confidence. She knows what she wants and this certainty blooms out of her being like a bountiful garden. Her hair is thick like the branches of trees reaching out with controlled abandonment. The power of nature surrounds her. You can see the card. Flowing both into her and out from her. What would it be like to feel this connected and confident? What could you accomplish? Your inner strength blossoms into future achievements. And that is for Mirror. Reflection, 23. The gift. Whimsy. Excitement. Curiosity. Gift. Under a snowy sky, a woman with feathered hair holds a tiny, uh, holds a little box. What is inside the box? We don't know for sure, but it seems to be a gift. Simple on the outside, but perhaps magical within. We can only imagine what would happen if we could tug the string and peer inside. Would it be the fulfillment of an old wish? Remember the curiosity we had before opening presents? 
the magical space between dreams and truth. A gift reminds us of the excitement we have in these special moments. Change. So, this is a change in the connection. And that's going to be... The reconnection is going to be a gift. This is from one to the other. All right, Virgos. Let's see what's happening here. shuffle eight cards off the top eight cards off the bottom the connections have been so close that it the cards are still presenting self starter steps which means one card's one way one which card next card's the other so let's get into this king of pentacles female version okay hold on a second okay we are back now all the cards try and fly out of me King of Pentacles, the female version of the card. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. That's the gift. Two of Cups. King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. Knight of Wands. And that's the other female version of the masculine card. King of Swords. Seven of Swords. Wow. Wow. Seven of Swords is Thief card. That's what I was listening to is that um, someone's someone's stolen the other one's heart. The magician, another female version of the king card, king of wands. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag, fire sign. There's water sign here too. Eight of cups, the emperor. Page of wands. Someone's kind of speechless. Three of cups. Aha, uh -huh, third party. Ten of wands. And the sun. What is going on, Virgo? Okay, let's look at this. There's a lot of... I have to say this. One king. Two. Three. Four. But see... One of the kings is the masculine. The other three are feminine. The emperor... 10, 8, 3, 2. Oh, this is not... Okay, I have to say this. This is high vibrational divine union. This is like equal partnership here. Both sides have done their work. Like, this is when it gets... Major Arcana. 1, 2, 3. Aces... There's one. Yeah. One knight, two knights. And both sides presenting the knight at different times. Page. <laughs> and this already looks beautiful. And I haven't even gotten into it yet. Okay. King of Pentacles, the female version. This is... <laughs> Oh, I love this deck. I'm telling you. The female version of the King of Pentacles. Okay. Very rooted and grounded, but this is getting work done. This is... This is getting work done and really presenting itself as this nurturing, um, giving and receiving type of thing. Finances getting emotional, spiritual resources in hand and having the balance within yourself with this 
holding the purse strings and knowing how to give it out to that type of thing this is mirrors energy reflections energy ace of pentacles new beginning I would like to see beforehand like what had happened for this because this yeah this is new beginning before reflection so mirror is set like there there's a balance within themselves reflection is this is new begin oh the hiccups now this is new beginning for them Mirror, Knight of Cups. Reflection, Two of Cups. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Gotta love teenagers, I'm telling you. So, both of them on the same page here, because both cups, this is beautiful. Mirror, Knight of Cups, that's love offer. Reflection, Two of Cups, there's that connection. Emotional connection. Both on the same page. Mirror. The magician. They were manifesting this connection. Here we go. Reflection. Love this read. I'm telling you what. King of Wands, the feminine version of the card. This is knowing... <laughs> oh. This is almost like reflection. Okay, I'm gonna describe reflection. Perfect conversational partner, like sparring partner. This is that fire sign. With the masculine version, this is Aries. I'm saying it's gonna be fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag here. This is sparring partner. This is deep knowledge, deep conversation, not this small talk nonsense not that and mirror has been manifesting this someone that'll pique their interest and keep it this is who this is reflection then you got mirror eight of cups following their heart Ugh. now i want to say that too here because the number is kind of going back and forth. Eight of Cups, and then you got the Emperor for Reflection. That's four card. This could be when the energy flips. It's, it, if you resonate with Reflection before and you resonate with Mirror now, this could be where it flips. But Mirror is following their heart with this connection. Um, reflection, that's the energy they're standing in, Emperor. This is, they know what they're doing. They know what they're thinking. They know where they're going. They know how they feel. And they're taking action towards it. That's that big energy. That's the embodiment of all four kings. This is someone that's going to walk into the room. And they don't have to be announced. Like, they don't have to be introduced. Their energy, like, precedes them before they go in. Like, this is almost like... The Emperor, the Empress, um, my great-grandmother, Irish, full-blooded Irish. I am, in my generation, I'm the only one with memory of her. And when I was real small, like, we would go to her house in our Easter dresses, all of the cousins together, and we would get the gift from my aunt, my auntie. And um, from great-grandmother was lace gloves. And I remember that as a little girl. She walked into the room one time. That's the only memory I have of her. She walked into the room. There's like 10 kids running around. 10 or more. Then you have multiple adults running around. She walked into the room. No lie. Every single person in this room stopped talking and sat down. Including us. And we were little ornery all of us were ornery all of us shut the hell up and we set our asses down that's that energy that is reflections energy this is why mirror is following their heart with this 
They just have that energy about them, like... They... Like, they don't owe anybody anything. Whatever happens, happens. Like, this is like a take charge. Their energy precedes them. And I remember looking at my great-grandmother when she walked in the room, and I was like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, my God. But she didn't even say anything. She didn't say anything. She walked in the room. That's that energy. If you hear banging, my middle teenager, my middle son, this teenager, is changing his room around. So don't mind. All right. Now. <sighs> Ugh. Mirror has this. This is a beautiful read. Let me tell you. The female version of the King of Cups. That is... Uh, this is a lot of emotion. This is a lot of love. This is. Because this is... Okay. In finding the balance within ourselves of divine feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine is receptive, divine masculine gives. This is... I will receive whatever token of love from them. I will give whatever they need that... This is that <laughs> balance of giving and receiving and wanting to be so connected into this connection. While reflection, Knight of Wands. This is a sparring partner, let me tell you. Fire energy, sparring partner. They have just the right thing to say at the right moment. And it could be the goofiest thing that they say. But I'm telling you, this is what Mirror has been manifesting. This sparring partner keeps their interest peaked. Has a lot to say. It may even have a lot of stories to tell. And I love teenagers. I just have to keep saying that. Then you got <laughs> Mirror, King of Swords. And if you see this card, King of Swords is very protective. This is action oriented. This is basically like building building a wall. Queen of Swords is taking control of your life back. That's um, setting up healthy boundaries. That's putting up walls. King of Swords not only um, builds the walls up, puts guards at the gate. This is being very protective over this connection. This is not telling anyone about this connection. This is putting guards at the gate. Not even um, coming out with the way they think about this connection. Reflection. Seven of Swords. This is when I paused when I saw this. Because I'm like, what happened? No, um... Reflection feels like Mirror has stolen their heart. This is why this showed up. That was the message I got with this. Seven of Swords is a thievery card. Someone's heart was stolen here. By this King of Swords energy of being very protective. Being very secretive. Being very protective. And acting on their thoughts. Like acting on... Can you hold on a second? Okay, like I was saying, this is being very protective of this, but you see this where um, the figure in the Seven of Swords is holding the egg. It's almost like they're trying to prevent their heart from being stolen by Mirror. But Mirror has already done it. That's the other message too with this. Um, and if you notice, if you notice this, and I, this is beautiful. The pentacles, when they showed up for mirror, it showed up for reflection. Then the same thing with cups. Then we go to swords. Same thing with swords. So the two here, divine partnership, but they're on the same page. Like this is on the same page. Plus the fact that when mirror to reflection... From a reflection's point of view, when Mirror says he's going to do something, he gets it done. When he makes a promise, he comes through with it. 
this is what this and this is why mirror has stolen the heart of reflection you deal with people that make promises and it ends up being empty promises long enough when someone makes promises you it's almost like a wait and see and then when it happens it's like oh wait who am i dealing with that's why like they're holding on to that egg and don't want it to be stolen Like, it felt like there was more messages from these two. That's what it is. Okay. It just pointed out to me. The same bird here, and this is amazing. The same bird in the King of Swords imagery, if you see that, is the same bird that's up here. There is a telepathic connection. That in the Twin Flame connections, there is telepathic connection. But I feel like with Mirror and Reflection, there's been a telepathic connection between the two of them, even before meeting. It's almost like they can see one another. They could see one another before they met. Because if you see the bird over his eye... He has vision like this mirror and I'm not there's no gender involved here but mirror has vision spiritually gifted and can see and has been kind of watching over reflection even before they met. Okay then you have mirror in the page of wands energy pages are messengers but they're also students i really feel like really feel like they don't know what to say like they're to the point to where it's like what do i say but then you have reflection here third party three of cups now Three of Cups can be anything. Work, career, finances, could be friends, family, co-workers, could be anything. And I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's anyone, any infidelity. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's almost like an outside source is trying to convince or get involved, like put their hands on it. From reflections point. Or it could be, it could be too, and I'll say this too, when it comes to third party, it's someone in their energy space. This could be someone from the past for reflection. But dealing with that situation, this is why the Page of Wands is here, because Mirror doesn't know what to say. Like, it's very like learning the right things to say like one little step at a time here that type of thing so this could be for reflection just could be someone from their past that's still kind of lingering in their energy or in their life because you can have you can have a past situation where you've been placed in a third party situation and then take time to heal from it but not completely get the energy of what has happened out of your spiritual space so when you go into a next connection or the, another relationship, like it can still be there because there's a degree of healing that doesn't happen until you're in the next, like until you're in a healthy relationship where there isn't this happening. So this could even be fear of this happening. Because the next two cards... Mirror, Ten of Wands, a lot of words under the bridge. This is mirror is if someone is going to carry the burden or not even carry the burden, but remember everything that's been said, that's how rooted and grounded they are. 
it shows a person that's rooted and grounded because they're they're taking in everything that's been said and almost like recording it and I think the reason Mira has done this is because of the person that reflection is because while they're standing in ten of wands while Mira's standing in ten of wands energy reflection gets the happiest card in the deck the sun This is reflection blowing away mirror by just the shock of the person existing. That type of thing. Like I didn't know that this type of person would exist. Or could exist. And then reflection being that way because of this past third party. in their energy space and mirror not being like that this is and i, I want to say this this is an example of both sides doing their homework before it happens doing their healing work spiritual work taking time to face their shadows do inner child work that type of thing and when they meet even though there's situation here that needs to be healed, it's minor. It's like something that's... And the reaction to it isn't confrontation. It is reflection deal with this from the past. Mirror learning the right thing to say. That type of thing. So it isn't an explosive argument because this is an example of doing your homework, growing before this happens. This is an example of, and this is mirror. This was mirror's energy magician because they manifested this. They knew they had done the work. So they started manifesting it. reflection having that balance within themselves this is waiting until the moment that you're grown basically you've spiritually grown you're healing yourself you had a degree of healing that needed to take place this is this is that before getting into the connection or before you know taking it seriously once you get into the connection this is what this looks like. Balanced, minor issue, both of them blown away by each other because they've never met anybody like this before. Reflection was expecting someone to um, cheat on them. That was being healed here. Mirror was expecting Just not expecting to have this sparring partner to where they could keep up with them in conversation and keep their interest peaked. Um, two, reflection wasn't expecting someone to make true on their promises. Mirror wasn't expecting this. And I have to say this. The gift being presented to them comes out of the blue. And I think this is something that touches them deeply. So both of them are completely amazed by each other. Completely amazed by each other. But they're on the same wavelength. That's why this looks like this. This is why this is so beautiful. On the same wavelength. Wavelength. Still can't English. Ugh. Ugh, oh, okay. Anyway, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your twin flame read for February 16th to February 21st. I kept saying January in other videos. I had to say it slowly to make sure I got it. All right, this is beautiful. This is amazingly beautiful. Love and light. 